What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of uh, just a little quick video, <laughs> uh, basically because of E3 going on. That that the uh, big announcements came yesterday with PS4 and Nintendo. Interestingly enough, inch inch interestingly, I can't say the word. Um, interestingly enough, <laughs> uh, they did it with Nintendo Direct, which is kind of cool because, like, you know, if you have a Wii U, you feel a little special because it's like, bam, right there, you can watch it. Uh, but at the same time, it's kind of like, uh, because obviously if, if you're trying to make a name for yourself, you want to be in the biggest gaming expo there is, and when you're not there, it's not really that good. Anyway, yesterday I spoke about Xbox One. Um, like I said right now, I'm actually, nothing blew me away, um, between all three. Uh, but I will say this, as far as the new systems go, comment below, let me know which one you're getting. I will be getting the PS4 uh, over the Xbox 360. PS4 came out, announcement of $399, which is fantastic. It's $100 less. Uh, it's less than an iPad. So <sighs> no internet connectivity needed, which is fantastic. So if you do need the internet, I mean, if you don't have the internet, this is what you want to buy. Um, obviously, the games have a, there's a lot more exclusives to the PS4. The one that I'm obviously overly excited about. Uh, which will come out, I believe it said 2014, which you think, oh, that's a long time, but in reality, PS4 didn't come out until holiday, so about two months probably, or three months, or maybe even five months, maybe not until June or July, I don't know when it's coming out, but the point is, they showed it, uh, Infamous, uh, the new Infamous is going to be coming out for that, so that looks fantastic, Second Son, I believe is what it's called. Um, now, my thing was, with with Nintendo, the issue that they have right now is nobody's buying the Wii U's. And unfortunately, I don't think anybody will con will start buying the Wii U's. Uh, they're coming out with a lot of awesome games if you're a Wii U owner. But that's the thing. I don't think there's any game that came out that if you're not a Wii U owner, you're going to say, I need to go buy that. I think if the holiday season, they were to lower the price from 349 to 249 which they might do because they, they kind of have a, a record of doing that, uh, especially when their system starts struggling, they really lower the price. Then I think there's a chance of them kind of coming back into the market. Uh, the, with with Nintendo, they they have a lot of games coming out. Obviously, the biggest one that I'm excited about, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Um, spoiler alert: it, Go watch the preview anyway if you haven't seen it. But I'm just gonna tell you, um, they got some. Uh, they got the kid from. Um, no, no, I can't remember now. Animal Crossing. But what's more cool is Mega Man. I'm so excited for Mega Man. Uh, he's gonna be in there and. Um, New Super Mario Luigi U. Uh, it's twenty nine ninety nine, I believe. I don't know, don't know when that's coming out. The game that I'm going to get because I this is the first Zelda game I beat without a book was Wind Waker, and so they will be re releasing it on Wii U. No price. I'm hoping they're not going to do like fifty nine ninety nine. I'm hoping because it is an older game, regardless of the graphic detail. Um, and they did say they're going to be doing a little bit of changes. There's going to be new surprises in the game. Uh, one of the, one of them was with Tingle, which I thought, oh man, this is so cool. Again, I don't see it being a reason to buy a Wii U, but it's really cool if you own one. Uh, Tingle in Wind Waker on, on six, on a GameCube, uh, was the whole point was with Game Boy Advance, you were able to, to basically co-play or whatever with Tingle. Um, what's cool about this is now with Tingle, when you discover Tingle in Wind Waker, um, he, from that, from what I understood, it's a they give you like a bottle, and what you're able to do is like type any message you want, put any kind of picture you want in there as far as from the game or something, throw it in the ocean. You will then be able to see that message on your Wii U in the in the um, in the Wii U me universe. Uh, what's cool though is yeah, you'll be running around the beach and you'll see a bottle, you'll pick it up, and it's a message from somebody else who has Wind Waker. And who threw it, and that could be from across the world from where you're at. So I thought that was really cool. I like how Nintendo is really pushing for kind of that community. Um, and what I like about Nintendo's community, per se, I, I mean, everybody's different. I, when I play games, you, I'm not one of those people who's like yelling and cussing and, you know, talking mess. That's just not me. But so far, my experience with the Wii U playing it um, online or talking online, I, I haven't just really run across anything really like that, which is great. Uh, because now I can play with the volume up. Um, and not to say it won't happen, but I like that Wii U kind of has really proned and really kind of pushed more than anything uh, a community that is more, you know, 
banded together, I guess would be the word. Because, uh, you know, in the other ones, yeah, you'll make friends, but then you'll, like, with your friend, you'll just sab like, you just harass everybody else. So, so it's just, I mean, to me, so far, the experience with the community has been great, and that's what I really like about the Wii U. But again, are you going to go out and buy it? I, if I didn't have it already, because I'm a Nintendo fanboy, if I didn't have it already, I probably wouldn't. Um, Super Mario World, Super Mario 3D World also looks cool, and Mario Kart 8. What I like what they're doing with these two um, is they're actually releasing it as well on the 3DS uh, and Super Smash Bros. Brawl. They're releasing on 3DS. If they were going to do some type of cross play, they didn't mention that. That would be totally awesome. Um, but, you know, who knows? So, my assessment though, uh, I, I really think Xbox One is in trouble. Price tag $499. Have to be connected to the internet. Uh, oh, the other thing is uh, with the PS3, it's region locked. It's not region locked. And also, uh, they will not be doing any restrictions. They they basically said the way it's been going now, they'll leave it, which is play used games if you want. They're not going to do anything as a publisher if you want to do it like what EA had done. Uh, that's up to them, but for us, we're not going to do that. So, uh, 399, 500 gigabyte. You can uh, Blu-ray player. You can add um, your own hard drive, which all the all the normal stuff of the PS3, I should say. But um, obviously, the graphics are are much better. Uh, the gameplay is there. I really think unless something major happens with Xbox One, whether the pricing goes down or they come out with a huge announcement of an exclusive, uh, they did put a Halo out there, but it was just a, a teaser. And honestly, when they do stuff like that, it's more like we're working on it. Probably won't come out till next year or the year after. So if they're wanting, like the issue is, you got two releases this year, which is PS4 and Xbox One. Which one are you going to go buy? And and. PS4 is really striving the market on trying to get gamers to buy their system, and I think they did a really good job. On the price alone, I was shocked that it was that low. I was expecting 499 to 599 uh, because they have proven in their longevity. I mean, I, I think even if they didn't come out with a new system, PS3 would still be selling because it has such a great, great um, built system in there. I mean, it, it's just a really good system. So, uh, anyway. That was my little long uh, message there. But comment below. Let me know which one you'll be getting. If you haven't gotten the Wii U, if that's something you do want to get, maybe Super Smash Brothers or, you know, um, what was the other one? That, oh, Wind Waker HD. Maybe those are really kind of a driving point to, to purchase it. What if the Wii U goes down in price? Do you think if, you know, in the winter time when they're coming out with a releasing of 399 499 what if the Wii U, instead of going from 349 goes down to 249 What are you going to do? What do you think you would do? Um, but anyway, that's what I want to know. So comment below. Let me know what you think. I will be posting up my videos again now. I won't be doing E3 no more. <laughs> but I highly recommend anybody who's into games, just YouTube, Nintendo, PS4, Xbox, you know, stuff like that. And you'll see a huge variety of games that are coming out. And that'll help you decide. Either way, I think well, as gamers, you, you know, we got to, and I say we got to pick a system, but, you know, we got to let people know this is how we want to play. And that way they strive to do that. Um, but anyway, all right. Thanks for watching. Have a great night, day, weekend, everybody watching this. And I'll see you on the next Let's Play video. Thanks for watching.